What up everyone, we are back with Demon Souls spells only, returning from the Shrine of Storms with 12k souls. 12k souls is significant, so we are going to use that to bomb some shit up. See, this might be good, maximum MP. Uh, in fact, I think that's what we're gonna go for. More MP never hurts. We can get to more blasting, and the more blasting is always, always good. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly check if there's anything how I wanna... Not really. I don't really wanna get anything else. The question is... Oh no, I did get... I do have fire spray. The question is, should I stick to fire spray or get something else? I mean, go back to fireball, basically. I think we'll stick with Fire Spray, it's a pretty interesting spell. Uh, and what we're also gonna do is repair our shit. As well as purchase maybe 11. Why did I buy 11? So we have an even 20. Actually I was thinking, considering the area we're going to next, uh, no, wrong menu. It's actually much better to have a second fire spell, Flame Toss specifically, because we are heading into the Valley of Defilement and a lot of shit is weak to fire there. So it would be sort of a waste, especially since this area is kind of filled with weaker enemies. Or let me just adjust my face cam a bit. Uh, this is this area is filled with weaker enemies, and it would be pointless really to waste a uh, soul ray on any of these guys. So yeah, we'll see. Maybe they're not as weak to fire as I thought. Let's just see how we compare here. One twenty nine. Is you, but that's the thing, it shows only the damage. Okay, so 129 is the baseline for us here. Now you guys know, I fucking struggle like hell with this area. Oh, that is way stronger. Never mind, conversation is over. Seriously? Terrible shot. And you're still not dead. That's why we have fire spray. If for nothing else, Fire Spray is really good for uh, finishing enemies off. Because of the low MP cost, you know, you don't have to... Oh, come on. Seriously? I... Unbelievable. At least I'm not dead. Come on, what's with the aim? You used to have, like, got to your aim before, and now it's just, like, gone to shit in one episode. The extra MP is definitely helping. God, this spell is so awesome. I love this spell. I cannot get enough of this spell. Is he scratching his ass? Let's not answer that question. You have bitches. What do you think you're gonna do? Nothing. Jack... Shit. Okay, that's what you're gonna do. Well, to be fair, you know, I did come here very early on in the previous playthrough, so... That could have been an element of why I struggled. But still, I feel like I struggled more than I should have. I just played like an asshole. That's the second option, you know. God, having... Yeah, that, that was a galaxy brain decision to bring... Uh, flame spray. I'd be losing my mind here, honestly. There's nothing worse than when there's like one HP left on an enemy. So, yeah. And I'm pretty sure, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go back to the clever rat ring. It doesn't, it hasn't procced too often, but when it did, it's been helpful, so I'll give myself shit. 
I'll give myself and the clever rat ring a chance to shine. You never know. Oh, hey there. I, I doubt that was stupid. That was stupid, but still, you know, the MP issue is getting to be uh, less and less significant as we move along. And just wait until we get like the really strong spells. Those have like crazy MP costs. I'm talking about shit like Firestorm. But that's for later. The thing about this game is you you cannot actually get every single spell in one playthrough. But that doesn't matter. This is not an all spells playthrough, clearly. Especially since there are some which are fully useless for us, i.e. the weapon buffs. Uh, this is not what this is about. That is not what this is about. Let's use the correct that and this. So anyways, yeah, th this playthrough has been absent for a few days. Only reason is that I've been on the Sekiro grind. Because, first of all, that game is really good. Second of all, I want to get that playthrough finished. I do have ideas on what I'm going to be doing next. And they should be fun. Don't want to go into spoiler territory right about now. That's for later. But again, I was just about to say I'm gonna get backstabbed, ain't I? Man, you know what? This is not something I've talked about. This haptic feedback thing on the PS5 controller is really actually pretty cool. Uh, it's really one of those things that appeared to be a gimmick and Everybody was saying that they thought it would be a gimmick, but turned out not to be. And I'm fully in the same boat here. Uh, it does actually give some very cool feedback on the spells as well. Like, the fire spray feels completely different to uh, you shooting off a fireball. Seriously? Motherfucker. You just use a free aim. That's what we wanted to avoid. I don't know why the fuck. It's not a problem. <laughs> Maybe it's a problem. I only have three of these. And we need them for the next area. I knew it. See, I tried to bonk. Oh no, he's already dead. I thought he was coming alive. But no, he was just... Moving to a different state of passed away. Okay, she's a bitch. Uh, I'm not even going to talk to her. Uh, what a grifter. She sells stuff for crazy prices. We're going rat hunting now, boys. Holy shit. That's very efficient. So if you have a rat problem, hit me up. Take care of that shit. I was watching this crazy YouTube video. There's a dude... Uh, they do like rat extermination, but like naturally, you know, we are hunting dogs and rats. That's crazy, man. Like they use minks as well, but they have several dogs. Uh, one of them is a Jack Russell. Am I not dead? Ugh, I wasn't dead. Ugh, I hate it. The only reason I hate it is I wasn't dead, or I took a really long time to die. The reason I close my eyes in disappointment is just because of that disappointment. Ah, I thought I could avoid dying in this place, but those guys are absolute motherfuckers. So let me just finish my thought as we head back, because I'm going to forget. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. They use minks, but the dogs, man, like... I always knew Jack Russells are crazy. I mean, they're just that type of dog, but man, I, are they crazy. Uh, like, super efficient, of course, and, you know, as much as I like all types of animals, uh, the dude does have a point that uh, rats are a huge problem. 
they can be a huge problem and you know the instead of killing them with poisons or like really inhumane traps and all that it's sort of like a natural extermination method you know instead of just loading a place up with a shit ton of poison is that gonna kill me it didn't and they all died cool Okay, I'm back. You won't find my souls here because, like an absolute idiot, I slipped off the ledge and fell off. So this is actually my second time coming back here. Uh, and in those two attempts getting here, I realized that this is basically the worst area uh, in the context of this challenge. Let me tell you why. Uh, it is almost impossible to skip enemies in this area. You basically gotta fight everybody in your path. So every death is a massive waste of MP. Especially since there are no shortcuts here. Uh, the second reason is that these guys take quite a beating. Not massive, but they do take quite a beating from some costlier spells. Uh, and in return they give jack shit for souls. So, pretty much the worst combo you could ask for. Like you saw, I started off, first of all, I started off with 20 spice and I'm down to 8. That's pretty goddamn crazy when you think about it. So, yeah, I gotta like really pull my shit together. I mean, this, at least the boss is easy. Uh, they pretty much give you that gift, uh, but it still it still ain't the best. Let me tell you. And these big fuckers too. They can like absolutely demolish you if you're not careful. <sighs> nice soup. See, I've barely gained back the soul equivalent of three fresh spices. So the trade-off is not worth it, unfortunately. Uh, and luckily, we are at the end. It's just one of these things. If you're using finite resources, this area, this area is not the best. But again... This boss should go down very quickly. Because he's extremely weak to fire. And we are good at fire. I'll tell you that much. We are very, very good at fire. <laughs> this, this boss is so ridiculous. I don't know what they were thinking with this one. Blob of leeches? Go for it, man. Oh shit. I don't remember that. Okay, we gotta get down to his level. Because his close range attacks are even more pathetic. Fucking hell, the aim. I don't remember this boss doing like half this shit. Huh. It must be because I'm like up here. And I meant to fight him up close. Oh, that's his healing. Yeah, he does have that. Don't even think about killing me. I can't believe I'm having even a little bit of trouble with the leechmonger. Let's get this shit over with. Cool. And you are dead. <sighs> Why was that even like half a struggle? I don't know. 
It could be that bosses react weirdly to some things. I am not sure. Maybe that's just a bullshit ass excuse from me. But let's chalk it up to it being not a bullshit ass excuse. Cool. Well, that was that was something. Something definitely happened there. Not sure it, it was worth it, but hey, you gotta clear this area out, don't you? And I'm kind of low on everything, so we need to like come up with a solution here. I am low on HP, so maybe we'll just go for that. And what we're going to do is pop some souls. Cool, that's a little bit friendlier, 21k. Uh, I'll check the... oh shit. Man, that is tempting. Man, is that tempting or what? Something like this? Or this? We'll go for that. It's just the MP, man. The MP is too good. And this will at least allow me to... Mm, stock back up. 15? I could buy 15. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Deposit my shit and look at what we can get. I don't believe the wriggling demon soul can be used for anything. Oh, it does, a poison cloud. It's not that good. A writhing demon, not wriggling demon. The wriggling demon is the other one. Poison cloud. Uh, should I just use it? Fuck it, we'll get poison cloud. I'm never gonna use this thing. Yeah, as you've probably noticed by now, uh, pretty much since episode one, basically there was no pyromancy class in this game. It was all sorcery. But it works like the same, so no no difference there. I'm gonna pop into this area and get patches because patches will allow us access to healing items and all the good shit. Plus you can do this early. I've done this in the previous playthrough as well. And I know this guy is he doesn't offer a good price, but I'm gonna stock up on late moon because I don't want to die. That's the main thing. We have some spooky grim reapers coming at us. These these guys still don't look threatening at all. Like far from it. They summon their little ghosties. I should have switched my spells back. Now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, <laughs> man, they are edgy. It's that kind of whole thing. Their whole shtick. The question is, can I just snipe him from here? I probably can't, can I? Nah. Oh, yeah? Uh oh. Are we in trouble? I think we're in trouble. Cutscene, save me, please. He you see what's going on. I see what's going on. Mother fucker, I pressed dodge. <sighs> this is bad. Uh, I'm gonna put it out there. First of all, I've died the most in this area, and as I've said, if there is one area in this game you do not want in black, black world tendency, it's this place. That's more like it. Okay, so they, the spooks don't like... I just realized it's the crisp blade. God, it's so fast. He is a lot faster than you would think. <sighs> I didn't really think that this was gonna be the issue. I gotta stay up there. Uh, yeah, so I just realized the Chris Blade probably has something to do with me nearly getting one shot. 
because I just remembered it also lowers your magic defense as well as raising your magic power so that's a problem motherfucker can we do one where I don't fall off god that is insane lock on please come on cooperate with me Thank you. The saving grace here is that they drop a shit ton of souls. In fact, this is probably one of the better soul farming places, actually. Man. Uh, other side, right? Oh no, under the stairs. Took me a moment. So... I was talking about switching my spells. We are we are not switching our spells. God, this dude. This dude looks creepy as hell. Anyways, you know the deal. You know the deal. Kick the ghost lady in. There's there isn't even a kick in this game. What are you talking about here? This game don't have that. I think. I think no attack has kick. Anyways, this guy is probably gonna hate us because we are ma magicians. The church don't like Harry Potters in this game either. In IRL as well. It's just how it is. Don't want that Adava Kedavra here. Pew! Okay, these flame spells are pretty strong. This guy has a little dodgeball. He's found my one weakness. Dodge rolling. How will I ever kill him? What up? How do you do gestures in this game again? Did they change that? Gestures. Uh, <laughs> what else but point down, right? It's the one you gotta use. He looks creepy as hell. As well. It's the haircut. His shit got fucked up. Anyways, let's get the hell out of here. And unfortunately, make make peace with patches. Cool. I would like to drag you down into the pit or something. No, wait, that, that sounded really bad. We will ignore what I just said and move on with this conversation. And move back to the Nexus. Okay, cool, we're back in the Nexus, and I'm gonna pop one of my stones. Let's just be in human form, because why not? And of course, the boy is here. And as you can see... Oh, shit! Is that more expensive? Wait a second. He sells it for 800. Fresh spice for 800? Seriously? I thought this dude was cheap. He sells it for three f What a grifter. That motherfucker patches. He should be killed. But unfortunately for the healing items, he does offer the best price. Mm. If it was like... Age Spice, that would be something different, but... Man. I feel like I'm getting robbed. Don't worry, patches. We'll see each other one of these days. Uh, you can bet on that. Anyways, I think what I'm going to do here, I'm just looking at the time and considering how much I have to cut out. This is probably going to be a shorter episode, but I don't even know what area I'm going to start. I'm most likely going to go back to Latria, mainly because of the spice situation. We are able to get like 
quite a few eight spices and all that here if I do a couple of farming runs in the meantime so it's just good to clear that area out get that over with man eaters might be a problem but several bosses might be a problem here in the second stage of the areas anyways for now i'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here as always thank you guys very much for watching hope you enjoyed this episode of demon souls spells only and i hope to catch all of you next time like and subscribe as always if you're new turn on post notifications and see you next time goodbye